From snowy retreats to sandy islands, the city of the future is underway. New satellite images have revealed a bird's eye view of the rise of Saudi Arabia's $500 billion NEOM mega project. NEOM has entered the first phase of development with preparation work to develop the infrastructure for its different regions. The striking aerial views captured progress on the 100 mile long linear city the line, including the setup of offices and campsite for the engineering team and workers. Along with this, Saudi Arabia has also published a new video showing how a vision of the future is taking shape. The three-minute progress film shows footage of construction taking place across various regions as part of the project. This includes the Line, Trojina, Oxagon, and Neom's newest region, Sandala. In today's video, we will take a closer look at Neom's construction progress, reveal how much Neom has achieved so far, and break down all the fascinating updates about the mega project for you. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and share the video as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. According to the brainchild of the project, Saudi Crown Prince and de facto ruler Mohammed bin Salman, the futuristic city of Neom is expected to cost more than $500 billion and aims to become the industrial and business center of the world. NEOM is owned by Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund and is part of a framework called Saudi Vision 2030, a plan that seeks to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy and reduce its dependence on oil. The city's first phase is set to cost $320 billion, half of which will come from the Kingdom's Sovereign Wealth Fund. The centerpiece of NEOM is the line a planned 500-meter high-mirrored megacity comprised of two glass reflective buildings running parallel for 170 kilometers across coastal, mountain, and desert terrain. The two buildings will be connected via walkways, and a high-speed train will run underneath them. The megastructure is projected to house 9 million people who will be able to travel end-to-end -end in 20 minutes. Unveiled in July 2022, Many were skeptical that construction on the line would ever begin. That was until the release of drone footage in October and satellite images shortly after, revealing that construction on what would be the world's largest structure is well underway. Footage revealed more than two dozen bulldozers dredging a long line across the desert to start the construction process of the line. And now, a newly released video appears to show significant progress on groundworks for the megacity in the three months since the drone footage was released. Construction of the line began in the first quarter of 2022, and according to NEOM's executive director Giles Pendleton, Saudi Arabia will not directly build the futuristic city the line at NEOM. They will use a lot of artificial intelligence to design through a digital twin backbone. They have to construct a significant amount of real estate in a limited period of time. But for this, they will not construct the line from scratch. Instead, they will be assembling it using pre-engineered and predetermined modular pieces that serve specific functions. Furthermore, agreements have been signed with construction companies AECOM and Bechtel to develop an advanced transport infrastructure making the line one of the largest and most complex infrastructure projects in the world. The structure will be the largest building in the world by a wide margin. The Pentagon, home to the U.S. Department of Defense and the world's largest office building with nearly 30 kilometers of corridors, is tiny by comparison. The first of NEOM's regions to open to visitors in 2024 is an island destination called Sandala. This will act as a main gateway to the Red Sea, offering visitors customized nautical experiences. The resort is centered around luxury tourism, with three hotels together introducing nearly 750 rooms and apartments. With a large marina, the group at Neom expects Sandala to punctuate the shoreline as a destination for super yachts. Perhaps, the enormous turtle-shaped Terra Yacht Pangios that we spoke of in our previous video would be cruising to Sandala in the years to come. Once arrived, guests will have access to luxury retail, a beach, and yacht club, 
and a spa and wellness center. The Sandala Island will continue to remain home to approximately 2,000 different marine species, of which many are unique to and can only be found in the Red Sea. A project unique in scale, already being built in a place with 95% of land protected from nature, where rewilding is in motion bringing animals back to their natural habitat. Another region of Neom which is currently under construction is Trojina, a giant ski resort and outdoor destination, located in the mountains 50 kilometers off the Gulf of Aqaba coast. Trojina will be in the center of Neom where there are some of the highest peaks in Saudi Arabia at approximately 2,600 meters above sea level. Neom's progress video shows the construction of a roadway through mountains leading up to what would possibly be the ski resort. Although it has not yet been built, the proposal is already planned to be the site of the 2029 Asian Winter Games. Scheduled for completion in 2026, the $500 billion desert city will include year-round skiing, a man-made freshwater lake, chalets, villas, and ultra-luxury hotels, and is expected to house up to 9 million residents by 2045. The fourth and final region that has been announced for Neom is Oxagon, an industrial and manufacturing complex that would float on the Red Sea and be run solely on clean energy. Neom's progress video shows a large area being cleared and flattened for the construction of Oxagon. It will become one of the world's most technologically advanced logistics hubs, equipped with technologies such as the Internet of Things, human-machine fusion, artificial and predictive intelligence, and robotics. The proposal is designed to project out into the Red Sea just south of the Suez Canal, a waterway which sees the passage of around 13% of trade between Asia, Europe, and the east coast of the United States. Due to this strategic position, the massive port city is expected to become a hub for advanced and clean technologies, while introducing housing for 90,000 residents by 2030. The line's executive director Giles Pendleton says that NEOM is a very complex project that is being developed in multiple phases, with close collaboration with engineers and contractors. The team is moving closer towards realizing the NEOM vision every day. Work is already quite advanced on the infrastructure to support the line, with world-renowned architects designing the initial sections, vertical spaces, and layers for the first residents. According to NEOM CEO Nadmi Al Nasser, 20% of the project's infrastructure has been completed. In addition to the latest developments, NEOM's progress video also reveals the developer's other achievements, which includes the launch of Autonomous, a subsidiary of NEOM focused on AI-led technology for building the megaproject. The company that is responsible for managing NEOM's first-class sustainable energy and water systems is Inoa. They are in the process of building the world's largest green hydrogen production plant. NEOM has also invested $175 million in Volocopter, the next generation of transport, to accelerate urban air mobility. Since NEOM covers a large area and promises fast travel between its different regions, the Volocopters would ideally be used as taxis or to transport luggage. The planet's fastest growing lifestyle brand, Ennismore, has become the first hotel partner for Trojina, and multiple hotel projects have already been announced. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia's national carrier Saudia now offers direct flights to Neom from London and Dubai. The progress video also highlights Neom's growing media sector, which has supported 25 productions in 18 months, working with names such as BBC, Apple TV, and NBC. Neom has also partnered with McLaren to drive innovation and talent development in electrical motorsport. The project has faced significant criticism and controversy, including concerns about its sustainability and accusations of human rights violations. According to human rights activists, two towns have been cleared and 20,000 Uwaitat people have been forcibly removed without proper compensation for the construction of the megacity. In September 2022, 
It is reported that three members of a tribe were executed for resisting eviction from the construction site. Critics also accuse Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman of falsely promoting the project as environmentally friendly. Supporters argue that the project is necessary to create a modern and sustainable city that relies on renewable energy sources and carbon-free water desalination technology. Finally, the question remains, is Neom Humanity's utopia, or is it a dystopian nightmare? Write your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.